Hello, I'm going to show you how to make a 4011A stable oscillator or light flasher. Here I have 4011 quad 2 input NAND gate. Remember they're sensitive to static electricity so always be careful. Don't touch the connections, always handle by the body. OK, I'm going to be using 9 volts which is well within the range the 4000 series ICs which is 3 to 15 volts. Okay, first thing to do is to connect up the power supply connections but don't actually connect the battery until we've finished the wiring. So, the 14th connection of the 4011 goes to the positive power supply. Right, then we connect the seventh connection of the 4011 to zero volts or ground. Right. Okay, so the 4011 contains four two input NAND gates, but to make the A stable oscillator, we're going to wire two NAND gates as inverters, not gates. So, first of all, connect the first and second connections of the 4011 together to form the first inverter. Then connect the fifth and sixth connections of the 4011 to form the second inverter. There you go. Then connect the third connection of the 4011 to the fifth and sixth connections as to connect the two NAND gates or wireless inverters together. Okay, now we introduce the timing which compose, which is composed of the resistance and capacitance. So, we have the capacitor here. This is an electrolytic 4.7 microfarad capacitor. Now, always observe polarity with capacitors like you would do with a battery. So, it indicates a negative connection, but sometimes positive, usually negative. Uh, also make sure that the capacitor is rated at suitable voltage, so I'm using 9 volts, so it must be rated at at least 9 volts, but it's 40 volts maximum, so that's more than enough. Okay, so the negative of the capacitor needs to go to the first and second connections of the 4011. And the positive of the capacitor needs to go to the fourth connection of the 4011, that's the output of the second NAND gate. Now for the resistance timing, we will be using a 10 kilo ohm fixed resistor. That goes from the third and fifth and sixth connections, Let's just move that along. So that's back in there. Okay. And that will go in series with a variable resistor, which I have here preset type, which is a hundred kilo ohms. Okay. Right, the upper end of the variable resistor goes to the first and second connections of the 4011, which is where the capacitor is also connected. Now all left to do now is to connect the LED. Again, like the capacitor and batteries, make sure you connect the LED the right way round. If you brought the LED new, the longer lead would be positive, that's the anode, and the shorter lead will be negative, the cathode. So we're going to use a limiting resistor. 330 ohms, which I've checked will give about 2 volts for the LED, which is just right. So connect the negative of the LED to 0 volts via the 330 ohm limiting resistor. Then connect the fourth connection of the 4011 
to the positive, the anode of the LED. Now all that's left to do is to connect the battery. Okay, you see that the LED is flashing. There we are, that's better. Then by adjusting the preset variable resistor, you can adjust that. like it's flashing now. Here we go, can you see better? I'm going to have to turn down the light of the webcam. No. Do it. So we can adjust the flash right rate uh, with the variable resistor, so much slower to faster. There we go. Now, I also soldered one to show you uh, here. Now, <laughs> I've actually done it nested. Now nowadays when you make a circuit you usually use a circuit board but for fun I've done it nested which some people still do. What nesting involves is it's how it was done in the olden days, wires were connected straight to the components still done for very simple circuits but for a laugh I did it like this. <laughs> so we have the 4011 uh, in the chip holder battery snap, we're going to connect now to the battery. Now this variable resistor has a switch built in, so it can act as a power on off switch. So I'll just rearrange that so you can see. The LED, again it doesn't look like it's actually flashing on camera. Let's just that. Now the webcam wants to go walkies. Ah, do it slower. There you are. You can see it flashing now a bit more. Camera unfortunately don't pick up very fast flash rates. That's actually flashing, but it's too fast for you to see uh, on the camera, unfortunately. So there you go, 4011A stable oscillator. If you need any help, then just please ask. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and that's bye for now. Bye.